All right, we traveled into the future a bit, and I have my team set up, plus a few rounds complete to walk you through the system. In the draft, I won Von Gittin Jr., Ken Gushi, Michael Essa, and Ruigi Miki. I can click the driver's names on my team page, which will prompt a stat breakdown for each driver. Below my mini driver profiles is league updates, including trades and driver news. To the right of that is race info, which will notify you of trade deadlines and information on the next round coming up. If you're a stat freak, the most important part of the page to visit is the driver's list tab. This will show you which drivers are taken by which team, who is a free agent, and how they are performing against everyone in the series. Another important button in the game is the points item. With a quick click of your mouse, you can see how your drivers are performing overall in fantasy. The Trades tab will give you an overview of pending trades and trades you have made so far this season. The League page is the second most important page of the game by far. I'm going to click on the Butchers, who are currently in second place behind me. You can break down his players and view his overall points for the season. Head back to the league page. This will open a new pop-up window breaking down your score versus raw points. The score is a breakdown of how your raw points have accumulated against your teammates. Depending on the number of players in the league, the point spread will vary. But with this league having four people, the highest score you can receive is a four, which translates to a first place rank. If no one has points, then everyone will maintain a zero score, like you see in the wreck toe off section currently. Go over and click the raw points tab, which will let you see where your team excels and lacks for the season. This is another key for strategy. Since you can study sections that you have totally lost or others you can put special focus on to boost your total points score. Let me break down the 10 points section real quick while we're here. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on your roster makes it into the top 32. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on your roster makes it into the top 16. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on the roster makes it into the top eight. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on the roster makes it onto the podium. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on your team has some sort of vehicle malfunction. One point will be rewarded to your team if any driver on your team wrecks and is able to drive off on his own will. For your driver to qualify in this category, he must leave some part on the track. No bumper taps will count here. One point will be rewarded to your team for every time a driver on your roster participates in a one more time battle, regardless of what round he is in. One point will be rewarded to your team for every time a driver on your roster wins a tandem round of drifting against someone who qualified better than him at the current event. One point will be rewarded to your team for every driver on your roster who shares a tire company with a driver on the podium. Note that your own driver will not count for this. For example, since I have Michael Essa and he runs Max's tires, I receive points at Irwindale Speedway, round 7, since Ryan Turek was on the podium. Finally, you can close the points pop-out window and visit the last important page of the website. Click on any driver on your team to view his driver profile page. I'm going to click Von Gettin Jr. for this example. 
You can see some profile details, including his years in formula drift and car data. In case you're not 100% sure which driver you are picking by his face, you can look down in his gallery to view photos of his car. This is a brief summary of Fantasy Drift and the whole staff is very excited about the project that is nearly three years in the making. Invite your friends, have a great time, and don't forget, use the logout feature if you share your computer with your opponents.